Before I start the discussion for today, I want you to ask yourselves on what makes us behave the way we do. How do we succeed in college? And why it is very hard for us to change our behavior. And you know what? Answering those questions actually means that we are amazing. We are fantastic and we are special and essentially psychology helps us understand those questions because it will explain why we act the way we do for now this topic is very important to understand the psychological foundation of curriculum for us teachers to really understand to really know our students the way they behave, the way they act, as well as their personality. But the question is, what is psychology? What is psychology? What is psychology? Psychology provides a basis for the teaching and learning process. It unifies elements of the learning process and some of the questions which can be addressed by psychological foundations of education. Now, let us consider the three groups of learning theories under the psychological foundation of education. Number one, we have behaviorism or association theories. Number two, the cognitive information processing. And number three, we have humanistic theories. Let us review some theories in learning related to these clusters of learning theories. The first one is the behaviorist psychology. To the behaviorist, learning should be organized in order that students can experience success in the process of mastering the subject matter. In here, Learning is considered as a habit formation. Teaching is regarded as arranging learning experiences in such a way as to promote desirable behavior. Behaviorism dominated the 20th century psychology. It includes, among others, the connectionism of Edward Thorndike, which influenced both Ralph Tyler and Hilda Taba, who are considered to be one of the well-known curricularists. We also have Ivan Pavlov's classical conditioning and B.F. Skinner's operant conditioning. They were all behaviorist in character. Ivan Pavlov's biggest contribution to the field of psychology is classical conditioning, a theory about how behavior is learned. He is also known for testing his theory of classical conditioning on dogs. Through his experiments, he believed that automatic behavior could be manipulated. We also have B.F. Skinner or Burroughs Frederick Skinner. Skinner's theory of operant conditioning played a key role in helping psychologists to understand how behavior is learned. It explains why reinforcements can be used so effectively in the learning process and how schedules of reinforcement can affect the outcome of conditioning. To show how reinforcement works in a controlled environment, Skinner placed a hungry rat in a box that contained a lever. As the rat scurried around inside the box, it would accidentally press the lever, causing a fod pellet to drop into the box. Moreover, Albert Bandora's modeling and observation theory is also related to behavior. Among the behaviorists, Robert Ganius hierarchical learning or sets of behavior and five learning outcomes became classic examples. 
These learning outcomes include number one, intellectual skills or knowing how to categorize and use symbols, forming concepts and problem solving. Number two, information or knowing what knowledge about facts, dates, and names. Number three, cognitive strategies or learning skills. Number four, motor skills. And number five, attitudes, feelings, and emotions learned through experiences. The listed learning outcomes overlap with the domains in the taxonomy of educational objectives, which are the cognitive, affective, and psychomotor. The second theory related to the psychological foundation of education is the cognitive psychology. How do learners store information? How do they retrieve data and generate conclusions? These are some of the basic questions asked by cognitive psychologists. These psychologists focus their attention on how they monitor and manage thinking. There are many advocates of cognitive psychology. Let's start with Jean Piaget. For him, he is the one who introduced the theory of cognitive development. Piaget's cognitive development has four stages. We have the sensory motor, having the age range of 0 to 2 years old. The second one is the pre-operational, from 2 to 7 years old. The third one is the concrete operational, that is 7 to 11 years old. And the last stage is the formal operational, having the age of 11 years old and older. We also have Lev Vygotsky for his social constructivism. Howard Gardner for his multiple intelligences, Filder and Silberman for their learning styles, Daniel Goleman for emotional intelligences, and many more. To the cognitive theorist, learning constitutes a logical method for organizing and interpreting learning. Teachers use a lot of problem and thinking skills in teaching and learning. These are exemplified by practices like reflective thinking, creative thinking, intuitive thinking, discovery learning, and many others. At this moment, let us come to the third theory related to the psychological foundations of education we have the humanistic psychology. Humanist psychologists are concerned with how learners can develop their human potential. It is built on gestalt psychology where learning can be explained in terms of the wholeness of the problem and where the environment is changing and the learner is continuously reorganizing his or her perceptions. Aside from the theory of Gestalt, we also have Abraham Maslow's theory of human needs for self-actualizing persons. The Maslow's hierarchy of needs, from the bottom of the hierarchy upwards, the needs are physiological, the food and clothing, safety, job security, love and belonging needs, the friendship, the esteem, and self-actualization. Needs lower down in the hierarchy must be satisfied before individuals can attend to needs higher up. We also have Carl Rogers' non-directive lives, also fall under humanistic psychologist. Curriculum is concerned with the process not the products, personal needs, not subject matter, 
psychological meaning and environmental situations so now we are done on the three groups of learning theories under the psychological foundations of education we have the behaviorist psychology the cognitive psychology and the humanistic psychology in summary psychology has a great influence in the curriculum learners are not machines and the mind is not a computer humans are biological beings affected by their biology and their cultures the psychological foundations will help curriculum makers in nurturing a more advanced more comprehensive and complete human learning do you have questions clarifications if none let us proceed to the social foundations of education social foundations of education draws upon several disciplines and fields to examine education namely history philosophy comparative or international education cultural studies sociology and political science social foundations inquiry helps to sharpen students capabilities to understand analyze and explain educational issues policies and practices in order to improve education schools exist within the social context societal culture affects and shapes schools and their curricula the way school buildings are structured the way classrooms and students are organized reflect the cultural views and values of the society in considering the social foundations of curriculum we must recognize that schools are only one of the many institutions that educate society the home the family community likewise educate the people in the society but schools are formal institutions that address more complex and interrelated societies and the world the relationship of curriculum and society is mutual and encompassing hence to be relevant the curricula should reflect and preserve the culture of society and its aspirations at the same time society should also imbibe the changes brought about by the formal institutions called schools lastly let us always remember that our society becomes the major facilitator of education from time to time society influences our instructive framework society is firmly bound by training thus can't be isolated from each other